Hi, this is Paul Solt from iPhone Dev TV. And in this tutorial series, you're gonna learn how to create custom buttons using both Interface Builder and you can use them in code. And so we're gonna start with the Interface Builder stuff and I'll show you how that works. Right over here, we've got your default button. This is the, the system button and I have it with a non-standard font color. And below it, you can see how I've customized the button background to have a, a border. So if this is what you want in your iPhone app and you don't want to go with the simple buttons that Apple is encouraging with iOS 7 and iOS 8, you can customize the experience. Now, you can see this button is a system button, so it's going to have that fade out when you tap it. And the same is true with the highlight. The highlighted button, this is just showing you the different versions of images that you can use to show that a button is being pressed. So. When we combine those two, we can create a custom button and that's down here. And with this, you can see how it goes from this to this when we touch it. Now, the thing that's not changing is I'm not changing the color here. Now, this is something you can programmatically change. You can animate it. And that's what we'll do down here. This is a, a custom button and we've added a little bit of code to animate the change in alpha here so that it fades out when we click on it. And it looks a little bit nicer than going with your standard font. Now, since we're doing custom buttons here, they don't take the tint color. And that's something that you'll have to add programmatically, which is what we're doing down here. So this is grabbing the tint color of the current view and animating it. And last but not least, we can do all of this in code. And here's a sample button that I've added. And it works just the same. It's just a different color and two different images for the highlighted and the normal state. So that's what the tutorial is going to cover. If you're interested in working with buttons on iOS, this is the place to learn how to work with them. They can be frustrating when you try to do them in code. And I will show you everything that you need to do to get them to work appropriately in your app. So if you like this video and you're interested in learning more, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I look forward to helping you learn how to create your iPhone app. And it all starts right here.